Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today is Friday, July 3rd, and I just posted a video of an opening. Um, so today I finished that and started this. Thought I would jump on and talk to you just for a few minutes while I put a few drills down. I have um, some stuff that I want to go ahead and get done today. I'm not going to really do much diamond painting today, I don't think. At this point, I'm not. I would like to uh, work more on my blanket that I'm working on. i grab it and show you how far I've gotten. Oh, so I have been working on this the past couple of days. I think I mentioned in my other video that um, kind of wasn't feeling the... Um, tote bag that I was working on so I decided to work on the baby blanket that I need to make for my first grandson I have granddaughters but this is my first grandson so I'm working on this Let's see if it's a better lighting uh, yeah. so it's a said stitch uh, just a double crochet single or uh, single half double and double crochet so I'm working on this it is colorway is aqua breeze so I'm working on this right now I've been feeling crochet more lately than I have in the past so I figured while I'm feeling it I better work on it so I don't lose the uh, desire also I'm going to be reading this book here I am reading, I'm probably just going to be reading it on my own, but it is the book Stitcherista had um, mentioned. It was a pre-release that just released on the 30th. It is called Home Before Dark. So, oh, if you, my email keeps popping up. Ah, so yeah, Home Before Dark, Riley Sager. Um, this is a book I probably just going to read on my own time um it won't it may be part of a book club i don't know if anybody sees this i won't start it today if anybody sees my video and is wanting to read this as part of the book club please put it in comments below if i do not have comments by the end of tonight so midnight tonight that anybody would be interested in reading that in the book club then i will read this on my own um, let's see what else. We will be, Tia and Jen Jen and I will be discussing what book we're going to start. We're kind of looking, going to look through, um, Kindle Unlimited and try and find some books to read. And then once we pick the book, we will pick the start date. Anybody who wants to follow along with us is more than welcome. Um, we will be posting, um, We'll be doing videos together, discussing the book. So anybody who would like to read along with us and discuss the book, more the merrier. So that's going to be coming or taking place. Let me get some drills here. I've got to put some. I just want to kind of finish this little section while I chat with y'all. Um, so I'm going to be reading this weekend. This is going to be a kind of a, I don't know if I would say crafty weekend pretty much every day of my life is crafty one way or the other but I think I'm going to put a little more focus this weekend on working on my blanket catching up on some um, Netflix sorry totally lost my train of thought there watching Netflix this weekend work on my blanket and trying to get some reading in possibly because I do have a book that I've been reading off and on um, that I need to finish it's this book I started a while ago and even though I'm really confused on what's going on um, I still want to finish it um, I'm going to sit down today and read vamp I guess is the word that I would describe what I'm going to do my um, goodreads there's a lot of books on there that I thought I would read oh my 
sorry, if you hear my hear noises, my stomach is all kinds of unhappy today. It's just making all kinds of noise. Um, back when I was reading heavily, I put a bunch of books on my good read list that at that time I would have been interested in reading, but since then I'm really not, I don't think I'm interested in them. So I'm going to take them off my list or I might just create a complete new, um, Goodreads account because who knows, maybe late, you know, in the future I might want to read those books. So removing them might not be the smartest thing to do, but I'm going to create, I think a new Goodreads account that I will be able to, um, update as I read now and any books that I might want to read in the future will go on that. It would be like book club stuff. So if this book club that Tia, Jen Jen and I are going to be doing, um, are hosting, cause that's what it is. Everybody can do it. It's just, we're going to be the three hosting it. Um, so yeah, it'll be, it'll be my like YouTube book club, Goodreads account. And I will share that link in the comment or in the description box below, along with all my other links. What am I working on right now? I am working on I'm an Art Club's Christmas at Town Square. It's upside down. Christmas at Town Square. I am doing this as a Christmas in July painting that Mindy from Mindy's Mo Diamond Moments and Kiss My Crafts are doing here on YouTube. They're hosting it. I'm just working along with them. Their links are both in, both their links are in the description box below. So if you want to run over and check them out, they, um, there will be giveaways that are, uh, you know, involved. They'll have weekly, small little weekly giveaway, giveaways, and then they will have some larger giveaways at the end of the event. So I am working on this for that. Um, so I started this. Uh, technically, I started it Monday night or Tuesday night. Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Wednesday night, the 1st, July 1st, but, um, I didn't get much done, so I worked more on it last night and today. Um, my sections are, I have it sectioned out, you know, these, this much, this is my third section that I'm working on right here, so it starts right from where my pinky is and works its way over, so this is my third section that I'm working on. Um, this is my little cover minder that I made, a little reindeer unicorn cover minder. I thought it would be cute for this, um, painting. So I've got that and busy just trying to get caught up on housework and get things prepared for, um, this time, this time in August or maybe like the be the first or second week of August, I think, we will we will be having um, plantation shutters put on all of our windows in our home, including our sliding glass patio door. So, um, according to the gentleman, he will have it done in one day. So it'll only be one day of my life that's disrupted from having things done, but it'll be so worth it at the end. Um, I don't know how it's going to affect my lighting because right now we just have mini blinds up, but they are, our, our blinds are like two and a half inch. Um, the veins are like two and a half inches wide. And I think the, um, per, uh, plantation shutters are going to be three inches wide. But, so I may have to adjust my lighting for my videos, which I think I need to work on that. Anyway, it's hard because if I don't have light, like if I have my natural light, turning these lights off right now, oops, that was, so that's what I get 
with just natural light coming through one window that's directly across from me to my right and then there's one a huge window that's kind of behind me to my right now one light that's what I get with one of my LED lamps and that's what I get with the second one which you don't notice much difference if I turn this one off yeah so I don't know I'm still trying to figure out my lighting situation um let's see what else so my I talked about my book uh, reading the book the book that I'm reading it's it's a weird book I mean it's just a weird book and like I said it's um it's just so slow going it's a uh, Vicki Mahegan book it's an author that I read she's in San Diego I used to read for her um, and do reviews and I don't know there's something about this book this is a new series well it's, it's newer new to me um, I because I haven't read in several years but this is a different series than what I read from her before it's very slow it is very very slow it's probably a great book if I could just get past how slow it is so I don't know I may not even be able to finish it because I mean I'm not very far into it to begin with because it is just dragging it's like it's like almost like watching water boil it's that slow so um or waiting for waiting for water to boil or waiting you know sitting there waiting to watch the, the grass grow um so yeah I, I don't know if I don't finish that one there is I've got to do some kind of reading this weekend because I'm just feeling that desire to read so since we haven't been able to do anything with the book club yet. I've got to read something on my own. And then like I said, I want to work on this blanket. I want to finish watching Heart of Dixie on Netflix. I think I've got, I don't know, I probably won't get finished this weekend unless I hardcore, which I already hardcore binge watch things. But um, I am currently on... Where am I at? Where am I at? Where am I at? All right. So I am currently on season three, episode 16. And there are a total of, oh, there are four seasons. So yeah, maybe I won't get to finish it this weekend, but if not, that's fine too. But I'm working on, I'm watching that and also watching Criminal Minds. So I'm watching Criminal Minds during the day and Heart of Dixie at night. Because Criminal Minds is getting in my head too much. It's getting in, getting into the psyche. So when I go to bed at night, I can't fall asleep. That's why I will not be reading that Riley Sager book at night. It will be a daytime read when all all is well in the world. Well, like in the daylight hours, I don't I don't get scared so much in the daylight hours, unless I'm reading and the doorbell rings and then I jump out of my skin. But um, yeah, so. I won't be reading that at night, uh, just like I won't be watching um, Criminal Minds at night. Yeah, so watch Heart of Dixie at night and Criminal Minds by day. And if we're reading in the book club something that's going to jump into my brain a little too much, then I probably will only read during the day. And then I will have my evening time for crocheting while I'm net watching Netflix because yes I do I do watch Netflix while I crochet so I'm not really watching it as much as I'm listening to it so just same as goes for diamond painting um, during the day I'll diamond paint and watch Criminal Minds and at night I will crochet and watch or listen to Harder Dixie. I've got to stop. I'm focusing so much on diamond painting that this is literally all that I do. When I mean, as far as you know, routinely. And I need to kind of bring in all of my loves of the craft in picture 
into fruitation, I guess you could say. There, at least with um, crocheting and diamond painting, I can watch and listen, or watch or listen to something at the same time. With reading, um, no, I, I need to just focus on reading. So that's probably going to be my morning thing. When I wake up in the morning, come downstairs, get my coffee, and sit and read for an hour or two before I get my day started or I can start my day and still read at the same time because I can throw a load, of wa load in the wash, a load of clothes in the wash, I can talk, or run my dishwasher or, you know, something like that. I mean, the first thing I do when I get wake up in the morning is I make my bed. I can't stand having a big bed. So first thing in the morning, I go through and make sure all the beds are made, gather any laundry that needs to be gathered up that was not put in the laundry room. Um, I might throw a load of clothes in, then I'll come downstairs. If I did not run the dishwasher before I went to bed at night, I will go ahead and start it in the morning so I can have both those things going at the same time and become, you know, be productive. Um, and so, which then I don't feel guilty about sitting here reading or crocheting or diamond painting because at least I have something going, you know, housework that's being done or some form of housework that's being done. Um, and then I usually, when I'm folding clothes and putting them away or emptying the dishwasher, I've got some, I have a YouTube video going, one of the creator's videos that's been uploaded. I'm watching that or listening to that. Um, most of the time I'm listening because I don't really watch the YouTube videos unless it's an unboxing. I mean, I'll watch that, but if it's somebody who's doing a whip and chat, I don't really watch them because I'm doing something that allows me to do something as well. So that's what's going on. We will not be doing anything for the 4th of July except for staying home and relaxing. My husband is off today. He should have been off. This should have been one of his days off, but they asked him to work and he was more than happy to do so since he will be off tomorrow. So he will be home um, Saturday and Sunday. So I'm sure that he's going to enjoy being able to catch up on TV. And when I say catch up, it's not really catching up anymore because nothing's, um, there's no new anything being recorded because of the um, situation with COVID. So it's a lot of reruns or he's going back watching, you know, flipping through the channels and he finds uh, one of his favorite movies that he's watched a bazillion times over. Um, we like to watch Special Victims Unit, so we watch a lot of the reruns of Special Victims Unit or Law and Order. Since there's no sports, he will not have that because usually... This is All-Star Weekend or the week before All-Star for baseball. And since there's no baseball, he doesn't have that either. It's hard for anybody who has no interest in anything other than watching sports because when you don't have sports, you have nothing else to fall back on. And that's where my husband's at. He is nothing but a sports enthusiast. Um, he will choose a game over a movie or a TV show at any point in time. And now he's having to... Um, watch TV shows um, and he has he's not to you know, like fantasy and stuff like that so he wouldn't be into watching like Once Upon a Time or Game of Thrones any of that stuff um, he doesn't get into things like Sons of Anarchy or anything like that he likes action packed like you know back in the day Sylvester Stallone movies, you know, Rocky and Rambo, and he likes the Die Hard movies. His favorite actors are like Sylvester Stallone, Bruce Willis, um, Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's been watching um, the Van Diesel movies of, um, what is that, Fast and the Furious movies. They've been having those on. He's been watching those. I don't know if he really had interest in them when they first came out, but he's finding interest in them now. So that's good for him that he's now at least has something he can watch on TV. 
Um, my son, well, he doesn't watch regular television, which kills me. All he wants to do is watch YouTube. That's it. He has no interest in watching anything. Um, no TV series, like no TV shows, no movies. Um, every once in a while, he will watch, um, Ghost Adventures. He really, really, really likes Ghost Adventures. Um, he's hoping one day to run into Zach Bagan here in Las Vegas, because that is where um, Zach's... Um, well, first off, that's where Zach lives. He's the, one, the creator and host of Ghost Adventures, for anybody who does not know and does not watch that. Um, they are paranormal investigators. And he really is interested in that. So, um, like I said, he's hoping to run into Zach since Zach lives out here and has his um, museum out here, Paranormal Museum. Um, so he enjoys watching that. So when, say, he's grounded from his Xbox or it's time to shut it down for the night and there's nothing else for him to do, he will watch... Um, I'll try to watch YouTube. And I was like, no, you know what? No. When I say shutting down gaming, that is all forms of gaming. That means you're not going to play video games. That means you are not going to watch other people play video games. I said, you know, that's the time that you need to sort of let your brain relax, kind of come down off the adrenaline rush that gamers get and kind of just, you know, watch something that, is a little um, more calming, I guess. I don't know. I, I know there's a word for what I'm looking for, but I don't know it right at the moment. Um, but no, as soon as we tell him to turn off the Xbox, then he comes downstairs with his tablet and he's sitting there watching YouTube videos of people playing video games. Um, sometimes he will sit and watch um, guitar tutorials or information videos about guitars and music because he is teaching himself to play guitar and he loves music, but even still at that point, I would rather him sit down and watch a couple of episodes of a series or, oh shoot, I missed one, or watch a movie at that point. You know, um, I really wish he would do the diamond painting that I bought him, but this is now twice that through, or this is the third diamond painting I've bought him. He said he would do it. And each time I buy him one, he does not do it. He, he's interested at the time because, well, let's face it, at the time I buy it for him, he's usually grounded from his Xbox because he hasn't, you know, done his housework or, <coughs> excuse me, has got his things because he's 5'6". He's got me by three inches that he can also, um, he's got me by uh, age and all of a sudden he's bigger than me so he becomes my parent and or doesn't have to listen to me yeah that's the that's the new thing the taller he's getting the older he's getting the less he thinks he needs to listen somehow he thinks that age and height and all that becoming an adult means that he doesn't he's no longer a child and doesn't have to listen which yes as an adult he's not a child but even as an adult he's still always going to be my child he's still going to be a child to you know, he's still his parents. He's not, he's not articulating that. It's not sinking in. So we're having issues. So anyway, he'll be playing video games all weekend. My husband will be sitting on the couch watching TV and napping all weekend. And I will be crocheting, diamond painting, reading, and watching Netflix and YouTube. Yeah. That's what we're going to be up to. Um, we won't be doing any barbecuing, which is this is very disappointing because it's too damn hot to be outside as it is, much less standing in front of a grill. Um, so I don't know what we're going to do. I'm trying to find drills, so just give me a second here, 32. Um, I don't know what we're going to be doing as far as eating goes, because I just don't know. It's going to be so hot. It's going to be so hot. So I'm thinking, 
they'll probably do a lot of sandwiches like during for lunch. I think I might make up some tuna salad and they can have tuna sandwiches. I will just eat the tuna with a fork because me and bread don't like each other right now. Um, I might get some macaroni salad or something like that. Um, I could go ahead and make some brats. I just put the brats in an electric skillet and just let them cook and they brown and caramelize and they like it that way when it's too hot to do anything else with them. So I might go ahead and do that and then that way they can either have it, the brat on a bun or just on a plate. Um, yeah, just, I don't know about y'all, but I, are you guys running out of ideas of things to make? I mean, we have our favorite things that I make, but oh, my pen, but after a while, it's just like, you want something new and you want it new and simple, but you just don't know what to do. And sorry, this leather chair, I'm trying to find a way to get it to quit being so crinkly and squeaky and hearing it, but I can't. Also, I did get that quake hold and you know, I don't know how I feel about it yet because yeah, I'm filling the pan, but it's like everything else that I'm using. It seems to dry out within minutes of filling the pan. You know, use it a couple times, get it some good pickup and lays down nice. And then after a while, it's all dried out. And I'm getting that with the super sticky patty wax. I'm getting that with the... Um, Regular patty wax, I'm getting that with the pink wax that comes with the kits. It doesn't matter what I get. I can pick up a few drills, and then all of a sudden, it acts like it doesn't want to pick anything up. And I'm not heavy-handing it, I'm not pushing down hard or anything like that, but it's not... Um, And then the later I try to lay the drills, the more movement there are in them. So that's usually why I'm more heavy handed is because it, it goes down right. But anyhow, um, so yeah, I did my star roar unboxing before I put this up or before I started this. Wanted to try and get some videos up today because with my husband home this weekend, um, I am doing, I might do everything downstairs. So, and I've never recorded a video. I mean, I have recorded a video with him home, but I did that upstairs in my craft room and seeing how my, everything is downstairs in the living room now because it's too hot to be upstairs until we get these shutters and stuff put on. And then even still, this is where the TV is. This is where I can always be contacted. My, my craft room is basically for storage of my crafts, not to um, craft in, per se. So I'll be down here all weekend doing things so I won't be able to record my videos. Um, so yeah, this will be... This will be my, probably my last video until Monday, but at least I got the star roar up. And this one, um, I'm going to try to go live next week. Hopefully I have some, you know, people that have reached out and commented on the book club thing. I know right now there's going to be a total of four of us for certain. And, you know, if that's all we have, four will be fine. We can get it. Any four people can read a book together and discuss it, but you know, if we have too many, then it's going to be too difficult, but I wanted to have at least four or five for this first one, see how it goes um, for this first book that we'll read and then kind of 
figure out from there, you know, how it's going to work. Um, but I do want to try and make this a monthly thing each month. Now, it might take us a little longer to read a book because, you know, Tia, she has a job, so she she works and she has, a fan, you know, has her life at home, and she also diamond paints. And then there's Jen Jen. Jen Jen, she's got two boys and her daughter, and she diamond paints and she um, cross stitches. So, you know, trying to find the time for her. And then there's me here, who I diamond paint and crochet and have... A son at home who is a handful and a husband in a home that I have to take care of. So depends on how many hours a day that we're able to read. I don't think we're going to set a time frame as far as when it has to be done by. Um, it's going to be when we have time. This it's not a it's not a competition. It's not a race. We don't have to be finished with the book at any specific time. And reading is supposed to be for relaxation. Anyhow, we're supposed to read to relax and enjoy and kind of forget about our where we're at in our life and use that book as an escape. So, yeah, there's not going to be a deadline per se. Um, and I, but I am going to challenge myself. I had an initial challenge up for Goodreads this year that I planned on reading X amount of books. I think it was... I think I wanted to do six, read 16 books was the goal that I had set. Yeah, I haven't read anything much. I mean, I haven't completed a book, put it that way. But next year for um, 2021, I am going to have my life a little more scheduled, I think. I'm trying right now to do that. Um, so I plan the goal for next month or for next year is that I'm going to set a goal to read at least two to three books a month. So I'm, I'm actually going to go on the low end and say two. And then if I surprise myself and read more than two a month, then yay, the following year I can increase the, the goal. Um, I'm also considering doing some journaling. Now it won't be like the mad journaling that everybody does. It'll just be, you know, since I'm trying to schedule my life, you know, kind of more follow a, a life schedule, you know, my everyday thing, my channel, uh, my projects. Um, if I'm going to do that, I'm going to bling out my journal, but I'm not going to be doing these journals like what people are doing on YouTube. Um, so when I do journal or plan as a, more or less what it is planning um as i decorate my pages i'll probably you know i'll show it to you here or post it on instagram but it's not going to be at this point right at this point in time it will not be a um routine subject on my channel I did that now and it could change later but at this point no it'll just be you know showing oh yeah I, I just went ahead and um, decorated up my page I put the stickers or whatever and then I'll show it to you and then go on from there but I need to get a journal I did get and I just got this because I need something to help me through the rest of this year I got this, um, I know you can't see because it's so big. It's a, it's a 2020 daily planner thing. They wanted $10 for this thing. It's huge. Um, like I said, you can't see it, but it has the calendar as far as where it looks just like your calendar you hang on your refrigerator. And then it has the spots where you can actually write in full, full things like this <clears throat> so I got pages that look like that where it has the whole week Monday through well Monday through Thursday on one side and then Friday through Sunday on the next and then at the bottom has a spot for notes then it has the section that looks like an actual calendar <clears throat> if I can find the page 
right. yeah the part that you know has little squares it looks like a calendar you got that um then it has in the back this is the monthly weekly planner um, it does have a spot for events for each month the top of the heading says events why can't i do this yes yeah, so december i've got to figure i need another tripod but it seems like if the farther i am away from everything the worse it is so i need to be close like this and have a lower one but then it's really difficult in trying to show y'all anything because it's you know too close this webcam i spent a hundred dollars on this web webcam and it sucks it really does i'm just being as straightforward and honest about it there's no candy coating it it is garbage for what i paid for it um but i cannot spend more than that on a you know buying a, a webcam i just can't um and then with recording on my phone i don't know it doesn't give you much time plus trying to transfer and all that. i don't know how everybody records on their phones and keeps any form of sanity but i can't do that um and the transfer time to move it from the phone to the computer our internet is already slow to begin with so i don't want to make it any harder on myself than it already is so Sorry you don't get the best views. That's why I've not been doing very many unboxings anymore. Um, if it's a little haul where I can show everything like this and it's it's visible, not all blurry, then that's what I'm doing. When I first started my channel, I had an amazing camera. The only thing is it only gave me 30 minutes to record. I had perfect, I mean, the clarity was fantastic. The mic on it was fantastic, but it only gave me 30 minutes to record. And then I'd have to start a new segment. And, um, yeah, it was just, it wasn't good as far as that goes. So if anybody has any suggestions for a webcam that is less than $100 but is really, really good, yeah, leave that in the comments below because I haven't been able to find anything that's good quality for under $100. But then again, I've already spent this money on this so i doubt i'll go and buy another one right now uh what do you all do on this weekend what are your plans uh you want to spend time with family or i know a lot of states right now their beaches are being shut down for the weekend parking lots are all going to be blocked off there's going to be security everywhere trying to prevent people from going because Things are getting worse and worse and worse here, and only things like this weekend is only going to cause, we're going to see the effects of this weekend within the next 7 to 14 days. And our 7 to 14 days that we're seeing currently from, you know, 7 to 14 days past and 14 to 21 days and, or 20, yeah, 14 to 21 to 28 days and, and, and going back. We're already seeing how bad they are and you know people just aren't getting it they're just not getting it i am not taking those chances i'm not taking those risks not for me and my family um this is real this isn't fake it's not a hoax and it's not the flu flu kills what 360 people a year on average we have already lost you know how many people in five months i mean because 360 people in the united states the flu does on average a year that's 12 months hey okay, that's 12 months let's do the math on that Three sixty, or say three hundred and sixty. I think that's what they what they said. Let me let me let me check this before I go, because I know I know there's going to be somebody. I never get comments in my videos, but I'm sure that somebody will find the information if I'm wrong and tell me that I'm wrong. So I'm going to check this. On average, how many people die from the flu? each year 
All right. So, just from just the regular flu, not, not COVID, not. All right. So, according to this, this is from the CDC. So, I, I was wrong. I was wrong. It isn't 360 people. In the U.S., in 19, or 2018, 80,000 people died from just the flu. But that was during, that's like the over the 12 months. Because remember, there's different types of the flu as far as you've got your, you know, respiratory flu and then you got a stomach flu. People can get the um, stomach flu in January. They also can get the stomach flu in May and they can get the stomach flu in August. But that's a 12 month period of time. 12,000 or 80,000 people died. We've only been dealing with COVID in the United States since January. It's Ju uh, it's now July. So seven months and we've lost over 100 and, what, over 128,000 people worldwide. Yes, I know that's worldwide. Or is that in the United States? That might be in the United States. I think, yeah, I know. There's so many numbers and so much information that's given. You kind of can't keep up with it. What is our death count now? What is our death count? Oh, I don't want symptoms. I just want COVID-19. So, in the... <clears throat> Let's see, that's in Nevada. So, in the United States, all right, we've had 131,000 deaths. Over 131,000 deaths in the United States in seven months. Less than seven months, or roughly seven months. It took an entire... 12 month span for 80,000 people to die from the regular flu. But we've lost over 131,000 people to COVID in less than seven months. This isn't the flu. It's not a joke. It's not a hoax. It's not a political ploy because we're in a campaign year. It has nothing to do with who our president is that we have people dying. I mean, well, Kind of, I'm not going to say it's not because of whoever, but it's not a Republican president or a Democrat president or a independent president that we have COVID. We have COVID because there's there's a lot of controversy on why we have it, but the point is, is there's COVID. And though we have a government right now who wants to dismiss science dismiss the medical side of this we need to be smarter than that science has proved itself over the years and so is medical so when we are asked to wear a mask it's not to inconvenience us it's to keep us and others safe i understand not everybody can wear a mask due to other health issues but at that point if you have health issues and you can and you're not able to wear a mask You've just increased your chances. You've increased your risks, I should say, of possibly getting COVID because you already have a health issue. So if that is the case, please don't go out. Don't go out. Ask somebody. Call a neighbor. Call a family member. Ask them if they can pick up your groceries. You can still social distance. They can bring the stuff to your door, set it to your door. My mother, or I mean, my father-in-law does it all the time. My, you know... If somebody needs to bring him something, they bring it, they set it at the door, they call him, say it's right outside your door, they go and he goes and gets it. My father-in-law has, has, has been stuck in his house. He's 80 years old. He lives alone. And the only people that have been there to see him is my sister-in-law and brother-in-law, who they are working, well, she's working from home. Brother-in-law is working um, on site on his job, but... They come in, they wear a mask. They sit in his house, they wear a mask. They talk to him with a mask. Because they don't want to risk coming and visiting him and giving him something. You know, no, and they're not actually coming to visit. When they come, they're bringing him food. My sister-in-law cooks for him, cooks two or three meals a week, and then brings it to him to cover him for the week. They write, She does all of his grocery shopping. And she brings, his, brings him his groceries. 
my sis other sister-in-law they've come and visited but they try to stay away as much as possible because she actually works she's an infectious disease nurse so she works in a risk of a high very high risk area so she doesn't want to take any chances but they're not coming in sitting and visiting him and they're not going out and, and hanging out and going out to restaurants and all those things because they're deathly afraid of this this isn't a joke and all the people that think it's a joke, it's going to only be a joke until they lose somebody that they love. And then all of a sudden, they're going to realize what how serious this is. And why wait? Why wait? Why let it come to that before you actually realize that this is serious? This is deadly. And for the people that it doesn't kill, it's they they're laying there in fear. And even the people that do die from this, they're laying there in fear on these respirators and ventilators, knowing they're fighting for their life and might not make it. And they're, they're, they're hurting because they're seeing their families struggle with this. And then the poor families that have to sit and watch it because they can't even be in the room with their loved one. They've got to watch them through a plate glass. This isn't a joke, people. This is serious. And it needs to be taken much more serious than it is. You don't have to keep your mask on the whole time you're out. You don't have to wear it when you're in your car driving. You do not have to wear it when you're walking in a park as long as there's not people around. You can sit outside your house, in your backyard, front yard, patio, in your garage, in your driveway. You don't have to have a mask on. You can walk up and down your street without a mask on. But when you are in a group of people or you are walking past people in parking lots and grocery stores, you need to have your mask on. You do not, you need to use hand sanitizer. You need to be washing your hands. You need to not be touching your face. These people that believe that we're gonna lose our own immunities to things, no. If you're, we won't lose our immunities. By sitting outside every day and catching some sun in our own yards, we can keep our own immunities but the thing is is people that have a compromised immune system when you walk past them if you have if you have covid you might not have a symptom so if you don't have a symptom you don't know that you have it you're walking past somebody who has a compromised immune system they cannot wear a mask because they can't breathe if they have it on due to copd emphysema asthma because those people with that with those types of breathing conditions they cannot they can ex, they already breathe heavy so it's hard for them to try and catch up on that breath with that mask on they're already struggling to breathe they're expelling air faster than they can in, in you know re, receive the air so that is why people that have breathing issues cannot wear a mask and in most cases, they have to still go out and do things because they don't have somebody to do it. But that's why the people that can wear masks need to wear masks. I have horrible, horrible claustrophobia. But I wear my mask because my family means enough to me that I don't want to give them something or me get something and risk them having to lose me. So that's the end of my rant. I was able to get everything to mention to you in the beginning of the video that I wanted to. I'm going to go ahead and jump off here. I just want everybody to have fun this weekend, but please stay safe. Stay safe for yourself. Stay safe for others. And I hope you have a great weekend. And I will talk to you next time. If you have any suggestions for anything, please leave it in the comments below. Anything that's rude on that's in the comments will be deleted. So there's really no sense in leaving it because I'm just going to remove it. So if you don't have anything nice to say, just don't say anything at all. And, you know, everybody's entitled to their opinion. But this is my channel. So if you don't like what I have to say, that's fine. But my, I'm allowed to give my opinion. But you do not have the right to come and be rude on my channel. So if you are going to leave a rude comment, just don't do it or expect it to be deleted immediately. So please, if you haven't already, 
hit the subscribe button and click that notification bell so you can see anytime I put up any type of video, whether it's ranting or diamond painting or crocheting or whatever, just sometimes just rambling. And please um, share the channel. There's going to be lots of things coming up in towards the end of this year and between now and then. But next year, I have a lot of things planned to kick off next year, 2021. So please share the channel. Let's get some more people involved who will be able to enjoy these things. And I'm still trying to get my 500 subscribers so I can have my giveaway. But I get them and then they, they leave or... We have an event, they get a giveaway, and then I don't see anybody coming new. So, you know, right now I'm sitting at like 357, I think is what it was last time I checked. And I'm having my giveaway at 500. So, the sooner we get to 500, the sooner the giveaway gets to take place. But till next time, guys, stay safe, take care, and be blessed.